My name is Bob Chappelle. Uh, I'm an optometrist and I work in a practice in uh, Sawbridge Ruth. Rest of my time I spend doing all sorts of interesting things within the profession. I've been involved in optics for almost all of my life. It really uh, goes, goes back to, to my father who um, started off as an apprentice to uh, uh, an optician in Doncaster. And then the lure of the smoke, he came down to London and joined um, a manufacturing firm called M. Wiseman, um, where he was sales manager. In 1937, he invented the, my father invented the nylon Supra and sold part of the patent uh, to the Americans um, and then set up his own manufacturing business um, and as a prescription laboratory. I suppose the first memory was when I was a sort of teenager, going down the prescription lab and giving all sorts of odd jobs to be done. Well, I started off um, with a hands-on job and sort of working in the, uh, in the lens surfacing side um, and then gradually moved on through that and, uh, and became a sales manager and then, then managing director. And then when I got married, uh, we set up a practice in Sawbridgeworth. So uh, my wife used to work during the week and I used to go in on a Saturday. I became uh, a member of the British Optical Association Council in 1978. Um, and that was um, when the, the college was being set up. And some of us took exception to the way in which the BOA was being treated. So um, that got me uh, involved in BOA politics. I became a member of the BRA Council and then two years later uh, joined the College Council when it was formally set up in 1980. And after a couple of years I became treasurer there. Well, I joined the GOC in 1982, I think it was. The things there that we were looking at, the, the uh, rules relating to publicity, were really old-fashioned. I mean, you, 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 couldn't, you couldn't even advertise change in premises or something like that. So um, there was this movement towards, towards change, um, which accelerated when Margaret Thatcher uh, became Prime Minister. And I think that optometry and optics were a fairly easy profession to pick off. We went through quite a hard time in terms of looking at publicity rules, um, and eventually they disappeared altogether. Um, much to the annoyance of many members of the profession, I don't think it was such a bad thing. And then, of course, we had the um, deregulation of dispensing, which was of particular concern, um, and then the disappearance of the NHS eye, eye examination. So they were really quite turbulent times. Site care sort of comes a bit later on, and um, that was in the uh, late 80s, early 90s. Those dreadful National Health Service spectacles finally disappeared. Um, and um, the AOP was working uh, to produce a range of frames that would replace um, the National Health Service frames. And um, a colleague of mine and I set up a site care trading company uh, to supply spectacles to, uh, to site care members. I got involved in ECU uh, when I became president of the college. And that then moved on to getting involved with the uh, with committees in ECU and then on to the EQ executive and then as president of EQ. One thing that I'm very proud of having an involvement with, which is the European Diploma in Optometry. Optometry is, is not a profession that's harmonised in Europe and the standards vary enormously. And we were concerned that somebody in the European Union might suddenly decide that they were going to look at the other professions and decide what the standards should be. So we set out to set our own standard um, and working with the other countries uh, we developed a diploma uh, which uh, represented the high standards of optometry in any of the countries in Europe. The first exams were in 2000 and then we've been running examinations ever since but there's not been a big take up. What was taken up was the standard uh, within the universities and the standards of education have, have increased enormously. Profession-wise, I think the mo most important thing was building the relations and the recognition with the World Health Organization. So optometry is in working relations with, with the WHO, and um, 
part of Vision 2020 in um, uh, one of their action plans, we got optometry listed as a, as a separate independent profession. Normally it had been sort of linked in with allied professions and separated from ophthalmology. Um, but that was a really big step forward for optometry around the world and where people are, are working hard to persuade governments the, the benefits of optometry, being able to say that we're recognised by the World Health Organisation is really important. But the focus now is on the European Diploma uh, and um, getting as much done as we can you know, in, in, in terms of, of harmonisation and, and recognition and working with the Commission, dare I say, um, I don't know I'm exactly the right person to be doing this, but um, um, yeah, working with the Commission uh, because they're interested in the work that we're doing um, uh, and um, you know, working with that and moving that forward as far as I can.